My Hero Wants Justice 3. Now, before we get into this video, everyone, I want you to go ahead and comment down below your favorite My Hero Academia character, which is a student, pro hero, a villain, whatever My Hero character you like, comment down below. Like the video, subscribe, and let's get into My Hero Wants Justice 3. Starting off with My Hero Wants Justice, My Hero Wants Justice actually covered seasons 1 through 3, ending All Might versus All for One. Wants Justice 2 covered season 4, ending it with Deku versus Overhaul. We are currently now on season 7. I personally feel like My Hero Wants Justice 3 could do season 5 through 7. That's two seasons. I mean, Once Justice did it, we had 1, 2, and 3. Let's do 5, 6, 7 for Once Justice 3. I don't know why season 2 was only for, not season 2, I don't know why season 4 was only for Once Justice 2. I don't know why that was a thing. But anyway, yes, yeah, season 5, 6, 7 could definitely be enough for Once Justice 3. I mean, when it comes to pro heroes, I mean, you already have Best Genus who could be a character. Um, Edge Shot. God, Mirko, for the love of God, please, Mirko. I, 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 I speak for the entire Once Justice community when I say Mirko. At this point, I personally feel like we can get a new Bakugo if you want the honest truth. Dynamite. Give him new, give him new, uh, moveset, new quirk abilities. Dynamite. Boom. Done. Deku, we already know we're gonna get a Vigilante Deku, or just a Deku in itself with Black Whip and the other quirks as well. Um, everybody else, I don't think it's going to be updated. Maybe a new Todoroki, personally, but people like Uraraka, Sue, Dinky, we need to get Unbreakable at this point with Kirishima. Don't know why it wasn't in Once Justice 2, we're not going to talk about that. Do I personally feel like we're going to need a new Toga? I think maybe with a new Plus Ultra, maybe, just, just, just because, just because. Um, Curse, of course, with a Dobby, white hair Dobby, new Shigaraki. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff that can actually implement into Once Justice 3. Now, with the new opening that we have, there's a lot of things that are happening. I'm not going to spoil, but regarding All Might, I don't know if we can implement that type of character. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about, I wouldn't be mad at it, but, you know, if we want a new All Might, go for it but yeah so when it comes to once justice 3 i personally feel like we have enough characters like i mentioned earlier we have enough pro heroes and those are just a few pro heroes i named honestly if you guys wanted to be picky i promise you not even not not not, not i promise you i would not be upset if we had the entire class 1a as a roster i would not be upset i feel like we need to implement more quote-unquote side characters besides just deku ida in the gang I, I think like seto i love seto as a character and not even students from class 1a we also have 1b we already have tetsu tetsu we have kendo let's get it borrow we already have her in ultra rumble let's take her assets and slap her on one justice 3 let's let's work together now when i mention working together with ultra rumble let me let me clarify something i don't do ultra rumble i just don't think in, in my personal preference making content on that game is just mentally good great just the system in itself, I, I, I don't mess with it. Um, I applaud that people are still playing it. I know I saw the season six trailer with overhaul. Congratulations, your guys are doing great. But let's just take, let's just take the stuff from Ultra Rumble and bring it to One Justice Three. We have Black Whip. Let's use that animation. We have Mert, not Merko. We have other people we can use. It's Mentos, come on, like we we can do this. We can mix together the games to make One Justice Three. Why not? I don't, I don't see, I don't see what's the problem. Now, a big issue that I have when it comes to My Hero Wants Justice is like the people like to call this game floaty. I don't personally think that's a problem in itself, being floaty. Um, you know, we are fighting in the air for God knows how long. There's wall splats. Um, I, I, to this day, I enjoy playing Wants Justice 2. To this day, I still have fun playing it. It's just your preference, I suppose, but I personally don't have a problem with the battle mechanics. I love you can use your support when you're getting comboed. I don't like the daze effect from Wants Justice 1, where it's like infinite, and then if you get comboed enough, you're in a stun motion animation, and you're dizzy, and you just get reset it. No, that, that, that wasn't fun at all. But so Wants Justice 2 took that and balanced that. I do love that. So when it comes to Wants Justice 3, I don't know exactly what they're going to take away or what are they going to do or they're going to add more stuff but i personally feel like if a character such as uraraka for example if they're going to keep her the same they need to at least update something with her whether that's a new quirk whether it's a new tilt quirk whether it's a new plus ultra one same for every other character let's just not let's not pull a storm i do not see i do not need to look at sakura from storm 2 still attacking me the same way as she's doing eight years later let's do the same thing for once justice 3 uraraka needs to be updated Ida needs to be updated 
Dinky needs to be updated. Everyone should be updated to a certain extent. Not fully, not like a Deku update or like a Bakugo update. You know, let's just just keep it bare minimum. You know, let's show some love to every character and not just the main characters, you know. And I feel like I speak for everyone when I say that because I do not personally enjoy watching these old characters like from the Storm series still playing the same way. I don't know whose ideal that was, but I'm going off a rant on that one. Story mode wise, we have the perfect story. Like I said, we have up to three seasons. You know, we got Deku versus the Class 1A. We have the war. We have enough content to implement a story mode game with Watch Dogs 3. Now, I don't think there would be any type of like boss battles when it comes to like quick time events like Demon Slayer and Naruto. But if they wanted to implement that in Watch Dogs 3, I would not have a problem with it whatsoever. Um, more of the animation CGI effect cutscenes was definitely a plus for Once Justice 2. I definitely love that. Now, a lot of people are always wondering would they add movie characters such as Nine, um, another movie character. I don't think we would even need Nine in my opinion. That's just me speaking by myself. I don't know. Like, if I wanted to have a movie character, I would say one for all Bakugo. That, that's the only movie character I would want, to be honest with you. Other than that, I don't see anybody else. But yeah, speaking on villains as well, when it comes to villains, we can use Spinner, we can use the uh, Nomu that Endeavor fought. I just, I, there's so much content and characters that we need to do now. Like I talked about in Hinokami Chronicles 2, we now have enough information and animations for another One Justice game, in my opinion. Nobody's doing Ultra Rumble. Come on, give me a fighting game, bro. Like, once Season 7 wraps up and ends, I need to see a scan One Justice 3. And I promise you, I'll be doing three backflips on my table. I personally think Team Attack should get updated. I also, one last thing before I end this video, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys would like to see this as well, am I the only one who would prefer like having like solo supports? Like if I have Deku, could I just pick Bakugo by himself? And it's just be me and Bakugo rocking it out instead of having like Bakugo or Uraraka? Like it, let me know down below if anybody else would like that feature to be added. Just one support like how Storm does. Because I don't really be enjoying two support. I know that includes team attacks, which I'm pretty sure they would bring back if One Justice 3 gets in development. I'm pretty sure they would implement new team attacks. But I do love a one support type fight. Just one, like 2v2. Like I said, I don't know. But other than that, I don't have any complaints about um, what should be added. I just want an updated character roster, an updated story mode. I love the customization feature. There's no problem with that. Add more customization items for us. Um, the intros were amazing, the outros were amazing, team intros, team outros, all of that was still good. I just needed characters, story mode, new gameplay, new quirks, updates with characters. That, that's, that's all I need in the game, and I'm very, I am very simple to please. So yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about. I think we're at a point now where seasons 5 through 7, once 7 ends, once Justice 3 should be worked on. That's just my take on it. Let me know down below in the comment section below if you guys feel the same way. Let me know what else you would like to see in Once Justice 3. Implement your ideas. You guys did great on the Hinokami Chronicles 2 video with your ideas. You, some of you guys have some really good ideas. So make sure you guys do that. Make sure you guys comment down below your favorite character as well. Don't forget that. I try my best to respond and to heart everybody who talks. So please comment down below so we can chit chat. Love you guys. Make sure you like the videos. And make sure you give your opinions. And hopefully, fingers crossed, for another My Hero Academia game. Let's hope. Peace and love you.